Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are just going to build the project of LED blink in our PIC16 of 877A. Let's get started. So first, we will build the Proteus circuit for simulation. Open the Proteus. And you just want to go to the schematic capture using this icon. Click on this. And this is the schematic capture window. In this window, you can build the circuit for simulation. And for selecting the components, click on this components mode and click on this P icon. Our microcontroller is PIC 16F 877A. Double click on this microcontroller to select the device. You can see the device is added to the devices tab. And we need LED. And you can see here you can choose the LED such as blue, green, red or yellow. I will choose this yellow. Double click on this. And you can see the LED is also added. Click on OK. Now click on the microcontroller and when you come to the schematic capture window and if you make a left click you can see the layout of IC. If you again click it over here the IC will be placed. Now for LED I will place it here and I need a ground for this LED for that go to the terminal modes icon and click on this ground. Now you can place the ground over here. For connecting two terminals that is I just want to connect the RB 7th pin to LED anode and ground to LED cathode for that come closer and if you go near the terminal of LED you can see that is highlighted. So when you make a single left click and move your mouse you can see the wire is also coming along with your mouse pointer and go to the other end where the wire needs to be connected you can see that is also highlighted click over there that's it the connection is made. In a similar way connect the RB7 to LED anode and that's it the circuit is complete. Now we will go and see the programming part. Our purpose is simple right. I just want to turn on the LED for one second and turn off the LED for another second and this process must be continuing all over the program. And before that I just want to make the RB7 bit as output since we have connected an output device such as LED to that pin. So what I will do is first thing that I want to do is I just want to create a while loop that is the infinite loop. So every program in embedded system will be having this infinite loop. So whatever the statements that is coming outside the while of one is named as the statements that needs to be executed only once in a program and the statements that is coming inside this while of one is named as the statements that needs to be executed again and again. That is whatever that is coming inside the while of one are the statements that needs to be executed again and again. So here I will make the RB 7th bit as output. So trist b7 equal to 0 this will make the rb 7th bit as output and inside the while of 1 I will just turn on the rb 7th bit first fourth b bits dot rb 7 equal to 1 this will turn on the bit and for a delay I will be using the inbuilt delay in the mplabx IDE. That is the underscore underscore delay ms thousand. So this is a millisecond delay. So for making a one second delay, I will give a parameter of thousand. Again, I will turn off the LED. And that's it. So before that we just want to declare a macro for using this function that is 
as defined underscore extal underscore freak and give your crystal frequency that the IC is working on. In my case, I am using 20 megahertz. So I am giving 20 megahertz. So the program is complete. That is, I am configuring the RB 7th bit as output and I am turning on the uh, output and turning waiting for one second and I am turning off the output and again I am waiting for one second. So again once the statement is complete again the control comes over here and this loop continues to execute until the microcontroller is stopped working. So I will build this project by clicking on the hammer icon over here. And the build is successful. Open the Proteus. Now I just want to load the program onto the controller. Double click on this and change the processor clock frequency to 20. And for loading the program, click on the icon in the programs tab and go to the destination folder that is the project folder. And here go into the dist default protection and here you can find the hex file select that and click on open now click on ok now the program is successfully loaded now play the simulation by using the play button in the left to bottom corner of the window you can see the led is turned on and turned off for a time period of one second for uploading the program onto the microcontroller, firstly power up the development board using external 12 volt 1 amps adapter through this socket provider. And then connect the picket 3 to your PC USB port using mini USB cable. Then the terminals of picket 3 are connected to the microcontroller as per this circuit diagram. If your development board is not showing these pinouts, or if you are not having a development board, you can connect the terminals of picket 3 to the microcontroller port pins as per this circuit diagram. Or you can just build this circuit in a breadboard for programming the microcontroller. Once the circuit is built, click on this make and program device main project icon. You can see the device is being programmed. Click on OK. And the program and verification is complete. And that's it. The program has been uploaded to your microcontroller. Now, build this circuit to see the output in the hardware. And you can see this is the output that I got in my hardware. Thanks for watching.